I'm really interested to see what this matchup will entail and how we're going to go forward from here. I believe this is... when is pause? Three, two, one, go! So we're going to get into the first game here. He has dude standard pick and yeah, we're very slow to start both of them. Not trying to read anything. It's very patient to begin with, nothing too much coming out of here. So, still keeping it close. Yeah, he's just at the moment mainly taking the prerogative in a lot of these interactions, and a lot of the damage that he's ranked up is actually from himself, from his own grenades, and all the explosions going on. So, realistically, at the moment, he has the main advantage when it comes to mode of play, and he's getting a lot more hits. So, we really interested to see what he's doing. And yeah, that's going to be that up tilt, just straight out of nowhere, just snipe him out of the sky. Easy peasy. And, yep, he just seems to be taking most of the advantage in this situation. Yeah, he's going high, but that's the worst place to go against the knife, and he's being swatted out the sky like a fly. And now, it's really interesting to see what else can become of this. The C4 is attached, and it's now... Ooh, the C4 is now in play, and it's constantly being stuck to everyone on the floor now. Getting that off him. Interesting, would have been interesting to see just the snake run straight at him with that attached. Now, back to the waiting game. The patience of Snake just pulling grenades and just keeping up hold of them. And GP's just waiting for his opportunity to play the game. Just get through the wall, get through every single option, and there's is going to be the start of that play. Grab, waiting for the grenade a little bit. And that's just going to be once again the swatting out of the fly. <laughs> swatting out of the sky. Really good play from GP. GP's just waiting for exactly the exact the times to like just weave in these moves from now and again, and Peter's now looking a little bit testy because he's on the back foot. He's not got the full advantage of being able to play it a lot slower. He's been trying to make it up now, and yeah, you can tell he's getting a bit testy with a lot of these dash attacks just randomly neutral. Yeah. Everything is when it's just not understanding never to go up. Close to another up air there. Would not have killed, but would have been definitely difficult. And now, I have to get the read. Nothing else. The key is coming out. No, but the up smash will kill. Good play there by Jesus to be able to get that off stage shenanigans. But now it's in a weird situation for him because any little bit will kill. And that grenade could set up into a kill confirm for GP if he's not careful. Good use of the quick draw there. Now it's just a case of once again, you just setting up on the side of the stage and Jeep just waiting for that exact moment, that exact bit where the where the defense breaks and the shield is and he's ready to capitalize. There's the grenade saving anything from else. Another grab and a lot of damage being racked up now, and this is a snake with rage. Snake is just living, does not want to die in this. The down smash most likely trying to beat a down tilt. Something along those lines, more explosions. Doesn't matter at this point what percent Snake is at. He does not care. He's just like, he's just like, any move of yours would have killed me in the first place, so I do not care. It's going to be the grab once again, sending off Nikita. It's going to be the Ether, and is that going to kill? That will! GP just taking that first game after a tense final stop. Don't stand in my way. Really cool, interesting to see Ghidra's initial adaptation from that. Immediately switching a little bit more to a medium stun because at the beginning he was making the distance a lot more clean and just not doing um, as much interaction. Well, in those later stages, a lot more interactions were explained and Ghidra didn't care as much about getting hit with his own grenades as long as he never got hit by GP's moves. So that made it a lot harder for him to get that final kill and some of the nerves he might have been coming into that situation trying to because he knew in his head that one move would have killed. So also kind of came into play into GP there, but now we're going to get into game two. This is best of five territory, so there's a lot of adaptation that can come out from here. Go! 
Once again, a little bit more testy, but also, I'm just looking at this. Gitra is walking a bit more forward than in the previous set. Staying a bit more forward into Jonah, and also never going high from now on. That's another thing that Gitra just stopped doing after those first two stocks. Never, ever went high. Now, even game at the moment. Both of them just training back advantage states and not really overly pushing them. Getting a couple of hits and then leaving. And yep, here we go back to the grenade. Grenade game. Just much. GP waiting for an opportunity. Angle not being nice to GP there. The back airs. Nothing else coming out. Now, a lot of stuff coming out here. The Aoife once again, and the board deck coming to take that stock. Nice little read on the jump. And now we've just got to see what else is going to be coming out of this. Another Aoife coming out, but the grenade potentially stopping that from being a kill there. Really interesting player now. Again, good understanding that the re-grab is coming out now. There's that high again. Nothing else coming out, but GP couldn't get far enough out. Grenade going off. A lot of danger here. Oh, so close to that dash attack. And now Gijo has set up camp with this advantage. First time he's got an advantage overall in the set. And Gijo beautifully going to get hit by that nair there. But overall Gijo is playing this much, much cleaner and just understanding where GP's choke points are. Good get up attack from GP there. Interesting thing about that. Now, there goes the grenades. Once again, the wall has been set up with that C4 just at that middle spot. And then Nikita. Yeah, that's going to Good Aoife. No Nikita going to come and kill there. And the wall, yeah, going to be red because the grenade was coming down. Only a couple of options there was waiting out or see anything, but he just got. Holy full stock lean in this situation and it's not giving up but wait for the damage from GP. Good dash attack once again, but nothing much coming out. Really interested to see what can once again going on it's so risky against an Ike, but being able to just weave around it. The footstool. Coming out of it. Such beautiful play coming out from Gidra at the moment. And the patience as well, understanding that there's nothing coming up, so there's no need to waste that air dodge. Ooh. He's just waiting and patiently coming through time, not rushing whatsoever. Just get those grenades up. Understand the situation. Just wait for one swing. And the uh, Cypher coming out. And that's going to be the last catching that roll. But this is a lot to make up for GP. Deidre nearly made it up on the next match, but then ended up losing. So we'll have to see if GP is able to go one better. Uh, Nikia. Nothing else coming out, Nikia. 170 now. A grab will just spell for death for GP. Now, still testy. Grenade's not going to kill. Anything would kill at this point. GP finally getting some damage on the board for this stop. But this looks tough for GP. 202%. And that's going to be the C4 going off and then taking the stock. GP not understanding where the C4 was at that point and just bang is dead. I don't even think G um, Ghidra actually detonated it himself. I believe that was a timeout from it. So... Good heads up playing to just for Ghidra not to actually press the button and wait for the timeout and just keep GP on the other side of the stage. Now, I have to see what comes out of this next game. I really want to see what if any picks are going to be coming out here for the stages or if it's just going to be good old fashioned TS2. No, it's Battlefield. Brilliant choice and also welcome. Oh, no, Trouble Brewing 2. Good choice. Stock Battle. 
and we're getting back. But I really like the battlefield pick. It's much stronger for Ike in this situation. Those ladder combos can be extended even further. Snake can kind of do the same a little bit with a lot, few of those up airs and a lot and a lot of um, interactions with um, grenade. But I, it's much better for Ike in this situation. So I'll be really interested to see what can come out of this. It just really grab the get out of those grenades. Just make sure. And Eva coming out. Ooh, just going behind him. That move does not work. A lot of patience coming out. And GP going for a quick combo there. The quick draw was beautiful. And the cypher once again going high. Nothing punished from that. He just waiting for this time and just constantly using those grenades to wall out. Understanding that. He can't really do much against these grenades. Obviously, he's just a big man with a big sword. It's a bit slow. There goes that C4. Nothing much else coming. And oh, lovely up there. Catching off the grenade bounce, and that's going to be so good. More grenades coming out. Just he just set up shop, and he's just like, you ain't coming near me. Your potions are too powerful for you. Oh, what a spike! Beautiful play with the grenade, just able to just hold shield, wait for it, make sure the grenade went off, blew in the ether, and then just that. Oh, that was beautiful. More fullness. Testy, testy, testy. Everything looking at gangbusters for Deidre at the moment. But GP looking to start taking a little bit of stuff. Not getting the final hit of Eva. What a parry. I'm standing the quick draw, and that's just, yeah, just bring on the next game. This game's over. Mission published. <laughs> no! No, because I will have to face him. I'm scared of him. And now we're going to be getting into game four. We're going back to PS2. Battlefield was a failed experiment. Back to PS2, back to what we know. And this is be a vital game for GP right now. Obviously, losers is there and available for GP at this point. But that winner's finals is tantalizingly close. Yeah, the grenade usage from from um, Hydra has been so much better just the past couple of games. It's consistent weight usage, it's just understanding when, like, a lot of the times it's just hold it in shield, because if GP swings on you with that grenade on you, GP isn't going to be able to shield poke that well, and it's just going to get hit like that. Not good. Interesting play coming out. Set up that ball every single time. What Deidre always consistently does is places the C4 underneath the platform and just starts chucking those grenades and just waiting for an opportunity. Using the C4 as basically a wall to stop anyone getting through. Now, back to keeping that distance. Whoa, good grab. Nothing else coming out of it. Just the empty hop. The, the, what the reaction is in the bowl out will make sure that nothing comes of it. Oh, that's coming to be an easy air dodge back here. However, Snake being Snake can recover from that. If you're looking at the scenario. It's always a difficulty with Snake above you, because even though G um, Ike would love that, the problem is that C4 is strong. Grenades going off. Just getting the jump. Good timing. Now, evenish percent. Both of them just looking for that final hit, and that's going to be that back there, catching that quick draw. And now... Say get out of there, the grenades raining down, making sure that she doesn't get any opportunity in. Just clean Z drop plays for the moment from Deidre, and it just, it, it just, it's an overwhelming amount of pressure coming up from all these grenades, all of these moves that are coming up. Great catch on that jump though, and bring it back to two pieces, um, two stocks apiece, but Deidre has worked himself a little bit of extra credit. 
needs to be so careful about these percent legs now after what he saw in the previous game. The Nakia coming out, and actually going to be able to catch there. More grenades. Been going off at that time, and now patience once again. More, nothing less. Vital for GB to find something here. Hasn't been able to find a hit for a while. One piece. It needs to find something more. Ooh, close. Now here's the rack of percent. Even not being able to get as many grenades out. We need to put on that pressure. It's more the grenades are both pressure tool and a get off me tool. They're, they're simultaneously a defensive and an offensive move, which is incredible in this matchup. And Oak doesn't have anything to really counteract it. There's the Nikita coming out. And now, I believe that probably a grab and a couple of pummels will probably be able to get stop. Yeah, definitely at this point. And now, just patient. Oh, nothing else coming out of it. Good fast ball. Oh. That's deeper. No, Snake's a big boy. He will not die from that. Going high once. Good drifting. Someone, the, this man of is so good. And Nikita still not killing either. Good. Once again, similar to the first one. Both of them are really high percent. And it's just a case of who gets that final kill. And yeah, that's just going to be the C4 on top of I. Sayonara. Once you drop that shield, you're dead. Now, so much pressure coming out from there. Really interested to see how this will go. So much pressure, but nothing much coming out of it. If he just isn't able to find any little hit. And he's just doing the exact same thing he did in game two. He's got so much percent, but he does not care about getting hit by those grenades. But just going to be taking the stop there, and now a lot of extra credit made up for Deidre. It'll be tough for GP to make this one back, but we've seen bigger comebacks in the past, and that could be the start. Let's see what can come out of it. A lot of pressure. These grenades, the C4, just consistent usage. These wave bounces consistently off the platforms are incredible. And there's the C4 once again. Nothing not going to kill. On your nade team on Ike right there, and the grenade coming off. Nothing much else. Let's trap scenario. And that's not like that, and that will be 3 1 2 Ghidra. Peaking winners semi finals and booking himself a spot in winners finals. DP will be able to make it back up in losers, but now we have to see what the next. But now we're going to get the next.